more than one question for me. Let me get, let me sit down there. I can make sure I answer all your questions for you. Get everything around the hood. This is where you have a clear idea of where you can be and where you want to be. Because right now, you, this is your exit. How are you going to exit this property? You bought it. Did you know what you were going to do when you wanted to sell it? Did you know how much you were going to sell for? You didn't, unfortunately. So now let's let me come in and show you what our strategy is. But let's focus now a little bit on the expired. So again, uh, let's go over this one more time. I'm going to read it over one more time, and then we're each going to practice with each other. Each of us is going to pick a partner, and we're going to review with them. And don't forget, please, guys, smile. Nobody's smiling with me. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I was smiling. <laughs> Julie. Yes, yes. I'm smiling on the inside. I need you to smile on the outside. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hi. I'm looking for Julie. This is Max with Rapid Realty. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hi, this is Julie. Hi, Julie, how you doing? I noticed your home was no longer on the market. I was calling to see, do you still want to sell it? Yes, I do. You do? Okay. And if you if you sold this home, where would you be going to next? Well, I'm staying in New York. Oh, you're staying in New York? Yeah. Wonderful. So what are you doing? You're upgrading or downgrading? Downgrading. Oh, okay. Is it because uh, family left or because you just you feel like you know the home is too big? It's just too big. It's just too big. Too, big for me too much to big. Yeah. No, I completely understand about that. Okay. So did no, you? What do you mean? It's, you you noticed it was on the market. I, I have an agent. He's 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 still selling it for me. Uh, well, unfortunately, he's not selling it. What what happened? Uh, well, you gave him a, a, a contract that said that he can sell your home for the X amount of days. Yeah. Now what happened was he exceeded those days, and now it came off the market. So what? It's, yeah. It's off the market. It's off the market. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I can come out there in the next hour and get your home on the market. Is that okay with you? Um. How much is it gonna cost? This, we're gonna make sure this is done properly. Last time you did it, this wasn't done properly. Your agent didn't even inform you it came off the market. Okay. How about we sit down? down? How about we sit down for five minutes? We'll go over all the details. Okay. Yeah, I right. gotta get this place sold. I Not a problem. I'll be there in an hour. Is that cool with you? No, no. no, no, no. An hour is no good. Okay. Well, how long do you need? And well, what about tonight? Tonight at seven. Se seven is good. Yes, Wonderful. I'll see you then. Good. Okay. You're the easiest client I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> you knew it was off the market? But guys, notice how... Which you, you, you said the contract with the agent? I didn't know it was off the... That's how he started. Oh, it's your husband is dealing with the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Like, notice off the market. Thing, like, <laughs> no. The second she asked me a buying question, I stopped the entire script. I shut everything down and I went directly to her. Because she offered So when you see those signs... She opened the door. Them. She, opened, she the door. opened the door for me. I ran in. I'm not going to wait and finish my script. So how about I come at 7 o'clock? No, she offered earlier. I'm going to take that chance. Okay? But now let's do it again. Let's, all right, Greg. Now you're, you're going to do this. With the buckle or no buckle? Very easy sell. Thanks. Thanks. It's a good thing, by the way. You didn't tell me to be tough. I didn't tell you to be tough. I just want you to be someone who wants to sell it. Again, you just want to be someone who wants to sell it. Throw a plan. Throw a plan. Because I'm just tough. I wasn't tough. Guys, you remember. Seen tough. Yeah. Guys, remember. You don't, right now you're practicing. Don't be tough. Yeah, don't. Just be, be somebody who wants to sell their home who's logical. Yeah. Where if I said something stupid, it's gonna turn you off. But if I see something right, I expect it to go through and flow fluently. You know, don't be mean to your to your, to your peers right now. We're all good people. We want each other to succeed. The best way to do that is by boosting each other's confidence by getting each other familiar with these scripts. And learning them through. That's so, it. so that's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to do. We're here to learn these. I want you guys to know these fluently. Can we? Can Gregory call me? No, Gregory's. Gonna, I'm gonna call Gregory right now. You're gonna then, then you guys are gonna practice oh, and, and, and as soon as I'm done with this one. So I'm gonna do one fluent one, and then we're gonna go on to the next person. Okay? Hey, I'm looking for Gregory. Hi, this is. Uh, I'm speaking. Hey, Gregory. This is Max with Rapid Realty. I noticed your home is no longer on the market. I was calling to see. Do you still want to sell it? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's off the market. Uh, yeah, your home is off the market. Unfortunately, your uh, your listing agent he exceeded the seventy days that he had to sell your home, in which you signed with him. Okay, so yeah, so that would mean that it's about a month at this point. Seventy days is actually uh, two months and ten days. Over. That was over. So now we're like. 
<clears throat> All right. Anna, you're gonna be my 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 seller. Okay. Greg, you're killing me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just finish this two minutes and then I'm gonna have them practice. I'll just do one script real quick. Okay. Hi. I'm looking for Anna. Yes. Hi, Anna. How are you? This is Max of the Rapid Realty. I noticed your home was no longer on the market. I was going to see. Do you still want to sell it? Uh, yeah. You are wonderful. And if you sell this home, where would you be going to next? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to stay in New York. You're staying in New York? Mm -hmm. What part of New York? Uh, Brooklyn. Are oh, you staying in Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. Okay, did you figure out where you wanted to go to yet? Yeah, I'm going to stay at my relative's house. Okay, okay, that's nice. Family's always good. So, what is your uh, time frame to be moved? Um, I need to move in like maybe one or two months. One or two months. So you were expected already to have your house sold at this point. Yes, right? yes. Ouch, I definitely understand where you're coming from. So now I'm curious, why do you think your home didn't sell? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Ask my previous agent. Ask your previous agent? Well, that's yeah. obviously a question we don't want to ask. Now, so I'm guessing that nobody actually told you why it didn't sell, right? No, okay, no. Well. It just, our um, agreement just finished and like, was never sold. So I I'm completely sure. understand. Now, the only reason a home doesn't sell in today's market is because of exposure. Did you know that? Um, no. You didn't know that, okay. Well, if I can show you now how to upgrade your exposure to make sure that everybody in Brooklyn knows your house is for sale and everybody outside of Brooklyn knows your house is for sale, would that be interesting to you? Um, yeah, but I, like, I had so many agents calling me about this and telling me the same thing. I know, and I'm sure, you imagine, I have to deal with these people on a daily basis. Can you imagine what I have to go through right now? Uh, yeah. You it's not me. easy, these people, but let me show you something. So now, I actually have a track record of success, so I'd love to come out there and show you what made my track record actually success. Okay. Okay, so now I can be, let's meet for 15, 20 minutes. I'll show you exactly what we need to do to sell your home. Now, would 7 or 8 be better for tomorrow? <laughs> Eight. Eight o'clock and wonderful. I'll see you then. See you. Okay, that's how it should sound like. Now, what I want each of you to do is I gave you guys notes on here. Now, again, when you see two arrows going down, what are you doing? You're making your voice go down. You're firm on something. Don't let somebody move you. When you see the line going from where would you go to next, let it flow. Where would you go to next? Let it flow. And then when you see the three dots in between sell your home, every time you say the word sell your home, you want to stop. Well, make your voice louder. Stop again, continue with your sentence. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and each of you pick a partner and review it and give each other feedback. Don't be afraid to say something. If you feel that that partner needs to work on something, tell them. Now again, the way you're gonna do it is as follows. Your partner's gonna hold up the script like this to you and you're gonna talk to them like that, okay? This is how Tom Ferry does it if you guys remember, okay? Everybody read it through to each other, go through with it, remember it, let it get into your head. Don't forget what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Two, right, four, six. Okay, so everyone has a hard